This video will demonstrate to you the differences between a shape's fill and a shape's stroke, as well as how to change the color on each one. First of all, you should have created a document that looks something like this and named it Your Name Shapes. Go ahead and open up that document so that we can work with it. With these shapes selected, what you're going to do is click on your selection tool, select a shape. Now notice when I double click on a shape, what happens? If I double click on a shape, it actually changes and it does what's called isolates the shape. It grays out everything else and makes me focus just on this shape. Up at the top, you can see it says layer one and then it says path. We don't want to isolate this shape, we just want to select it. But I wanted you to be aware of what happens when you double click on an object. To unisolate the shape or to go back to the normal mode, click up here on layer one and then click on the arrow. You could actually just click on the arrow and it'll bring you back to your normal settings. Go ahead and single click on a shape. This shape, though it looks like just a black line with nothing in it, is actually a black line filled with white. Over here on our tools panel, you can see there's something called the fill and there's something called the stroke. The stroke is what is this line. That's the stroke color. The fill color is what's inside of the stroke. So for these shapes, we're going to change the color of the fill and the stroke on all of these shapes. So we're going to go ahead and select on a shape and choose the fill color. I'm going to click on the fill color. Now to change the color, I can either come over here. If the colors haven't opened up, you can simply click on the color panel and choose a color or you can double click on the fill color swatch and you can choose a color here that you would like to choose. To change the stroke, we click on the stroke in the toolbox. Make sure that it is in front. The stroke is the one that has the gray box in the center. This is indicating that it's the stroke. If we want to change the color of the stroke, we do the same thing. To see what we've done, we're going to click off of our shape. Now it's hard to see that yellow stroke on this purple fill. So I'm going to go ahead and change the stroke weight. Oh, I need to select the shape and go up and change the stroke weight to a thicker stroke. And now you can see I have now changed the stroke, the stroke color, the stroke weight, as well as the fill color. Go ahead and change the color for all of these different shapes by clicking on them and choosing a new color. When you're done with this, you're going to save it inside of your Q1 Illustrator folder and then you're going to create a PDF and turn it in where your teacher indicates.